go to this location in Thunder Bluff, 4066 on the map. As you approach this location, Borton Shade Totem will reveal himself and offer a quest called Stalk with the Earth Mother, which you can accept as long as you are level 4. For the first part of this quest, you must go to the Venture Company Mine, located here at 6147 on the Mulgore map. Once you arrive, you will want to enter the cave and be on the lookout for these blasting supplies at which point you can approach and right-click the blasting supplies, waiting for the channel to finish and obtaining a single c 4 charge. Continue to make your way through the cave, looking for additional blasting supplies and stopping to loot them whenever you find one. These supplies are located all over the cave, so if you just keep looking, you are sure to find some. Additionally, I believe that you can use the Venture Company disguise given to you when accepting this quest to not have to fight all of these enemies. However, I believe that the disguise falls off when you stop to loot a supply crate. Either way, continue fighting or sneaking your way through the cave, looting the blasting supplies as you find them. And eventually you will have found enough to loot a total of 5 c charges. Once you have obtained all five Sephorium charges, as seen here, go ahead and make your way out of the cave, keeping in mind that there are a lot of enemies and it can be difficult to escape. I didn't try it personally, but it may be faster to fall in battle and then resurrect at a spirit healer. Either way, however you do it, make your way back to Thunder Bluff and turn in the quest. Requiring the five Sephorium mining charges and the Venture Company disguise that the quest giver gave you. Next, he will offer a new quest, which you should go ahead and accept. This quest will require us to find eight Wind Fury Cones on the ground outside of Thunder Bluff. I found the best concentration of them to be just here, around 3026 on the map. So go ahead and head to this location, keeping in mind that there are some hostile enemies, including Harpies up to level 11 that you may have to fight. Once you arrive, look on the ground around the trees for these Wind Fury Cones. Simply right-click one, wait for the channel to finish, and the Wind Fury Cone will be added to your inventory. Repeat this process until you have obtained all eight cones required for the quest. Keep in mind that they are very small, and you may have to get very close in order to see them. Once you have obtained the cones, head back to Thunder Bluff and return to the quest giver. At which point, you will want to right-click on the Mortar and Pestle that is in your inventory. Wait for the channel to finish to obtain your Pine Salve, which you can then turn in to the quest giver in order to complete the quest. In Borton will now offer a third and final quest in order to learn your Dual Wield and Lava Lash rune. Accept the quest, and next we will have to go find a Raw Brilliant Small Fish. If you'd like, you can simply purchase a Raw Brilliant Small Fish from the Auction House. However, you can also obtain one by following these simple steps. Starting at 4454 in Thunder Bluff, enter the Large Totem, going up two layers to the Second Rise, where at 5648 we can locate the Fishing Trainer, Ka well, Mist Runner, select Train Me, to learn Apprentice Level Fishing for mother. one silver, which I have already done. After that, you can purchase a fishing pole for 23 copper from Siwa Mist Runner, right next to the fishing trainer. After that, right click your fishing pole to equip it, and then you can head back down to the lowest rise of Thunder Bluff, head to the pond that is located here, and use the fishing skill located in your spell book. After that, keep fishing in this pond, keeping your mouse over the fishing bobber in the water and waiting for the bobber to move, at which point you can right-click it and obtain a raw brilliant small fish. Keep in mind that this fish is not guaranteed and it may take several casts in order to obtain one. With the fish in hand, return to the quest giver, at which point you will want to right-click on the knife set that was given to you in your inventory. Wait for the channel to finish in order to obtain the fish chunks, at which point you can complete this quest. Obtaining the ability to dual wield, as well as earning the Lava Lash engraving for your gloves. Ancestors watch over you. The Lava Lash rune is an excellent rune for enhancement shamans, and the ability to dual wield allows you to do good melee damage, even while leveling as other specs. So I hope that this video was useful and helped you to obtain this rune and this dual wield ability. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Peace.